Manchester is a city rich in stories. Some frequently told, some less so, and some yet to be heard. We are accustomed to the tales of Romans and Victorians, royalists and roundheads, Benedictine monks, composers passing through, and ghosts still lingering at the windows. I have been fascinated by these and many more stories. But as a city with an ever-changing demographic and increasing diversity, I wonder how many new and varied stories are yet to be told. I am also interested in the city being a stage. Chester is a beautiful city, and there are so many interesting locations where stories can be told, performances can take place, and songs can be sung, whether to a small gathering of people or huge crowds gathered in the city streets. Some places are obvious, and others perhaps a little more curious. Welcome to my little tour of the city, where I hope to share with you some of the places where I have witnessed or been part of stories being told. Let me show you the places where storyteller meets audience, and perhaps explore a few places less known where perhaps new communities could, when it is safe, tell their tales. Story House, wonderful new art centre here in Chester and a place that's designed specifically so that so many community stories can be told. Chester's amazing Gothic Town Hall and Town Hall Square, one of the largest public spaces in the city centre. And this was the place where in Chester City Passion, Pontius Pilate asked the crowds who they wanted to save. Was it Jesus or Barabbas? The Cross, a place where people meet daily to intimately tell their stories or to boldly share their views, where people sing and perform and where the town crier has proclaimed the news for centuries. The Rose are medieval galleries unique to our city, a place where goods were sold, brought in on ships from other lands. Imagine the stories that were shared through time. They provide a wonderful place to view a street performance from or a prominent position to tell your story. When we did A Christmas Carol back in 2012, Scrooge called out from the rose to the child asking for the biggest turkey he could find on Christmas Day. And Jesus gave his last supper also on the rose. The Bridge of Sighs really intrigues me. I can hardly imagine the fears or maybe the dreams of those prisoners who were to take their last breath as they crossed this bridge. What's the use of worrying? It never was worthwhile. So pack up your troubles in your old kit bag and smile, smile, smile. Albion Street, tucked just next to the city walls here, and the well known Albion Inn. I've had the privilege of playing the piano there for 30 years and meeting many veterans who fought in the First World War and hearing their stories. And here in the pub and also out on the street, tea parties take place, Morris dancers dance and Christmas Eve 2014, a game of football was played in the evening to commemorate the Christmas truce. Chester's River Dee, another place where people gather to hear music, maybe share stories. And perhaps this is the home of the Miller of the Dee and Minerva, the goddess of the Dee. In another secret corner of Chester, this is St Mary's on the Hill, now known as St Mary's Creative Space. It's also a wonderful cultural hub where songs are sung, stories are told. St Mary's stands on the top of, allegedly, one of England's steepest streets. And this is a street that's rather enchanting and, as I believe, full of stories of ghosts, witches and local folklore. Chester's castle has so many layers of history, but if you go inside, I think there's some wonderful spaces for storytelling. Chester's Grosvenor Park plays host to wonderful storytelling every summer. And I always wonder what intriguing stories could be told here in St John's ancient ruins. The world famous Eastgate clock. Under this clock, so many diverse events take place. Christmas light festivals, 
Roman reenactments and medieval parades, Diwali and pride processions. And in the Chester City Passion, the streets were lined with thousands of people as Jesus entered under the clock on a donkey. The Carriage Shed is a wonderful venue just alongside Chester Railway Station. Here our young people told stories of highwaymen and highway women. And not far from the city centre, this is Cambrian Road. And streets like this have also played host to plenty of storytelling. And there's intriguing little places like this little street in Ghoul. And so, though I've shown you several interesting and inspiring places around our wonderful city, I'm sure there are plenty more which could either offer new stories or a location for those stories to be told.